Hello everyone, I'm RecB5. And I'm Sandman99. And welcome back to The Elder Scrolls IV Oblivion with Winterfrost. Yes, and in the last episode, we uh, went to the stronghold of the Dark Seducers because the Duchess Sill had betrayed them. And uh, basically the place was being taken over by the forces of order. Yep. And so now we're back here to report once again to uh, Eogorath our success as soon as we finish running into him. Ha! <laughs> Time. Time is an artificial construct, an arbitrary system based on the idea that events occur in a linear direction at all times. Always forward, never back. Is the concept of time correct? Is time relevant? It matters not. One way or another, I fear that our time has run out. Ooh. Uh. As I feared it would. My plan has failed. The Grey March is upon us. And I must go. I thought we had more time. I thought we had a chance. My plan has failed and we were so close. Uh, but we haven't failed. Optimism! Ha 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 ha! How adorable. I love it. Even at the end, you make me laugh. <laughs> I'm lying. That wasn't funny at all. No matter. Soon you and everyone else will be dead. And I will be left a mad god. Ruler of a dead realm. Again. Well, what happens, what happens now? is what always has happened. What always will happen. I crumble. I fade. The realm dies. And you with it. Flee while you can, mortal. When we next meet, I will not know you. And I will slay you like the others. I had intended to give you my staff. The symbol of my office. Life is gone from it as it goes from me. It is now dead wood. A useless twig. With the staff, there was hope. But now, hope is dead. I am dead. Huh? The realm. The realm is dead! Okay. Is dead. This is bad, right? Yep. Time is short. You must speak. <laughs> He's just nonchalantly here. Oh, there we go. Where did he? Where did he go? Teleported away. Geogorath has vanished before we could complete the plan to stop the forces of order. Perhaps Haskell will know what steps we should take. Okay, Haskell, what do we do? He is gone, but hope is not lost. We have a rare opportunity here, but I hesitate to do what must be done. If the Throne of Madness remains empty when Jigalag storms the palace, he will prevail. But there is a chance that the throne may not be empty. Uh, okay. What do you mean? You will sit on the throne. It has always been Sheogorath's intent for you to be the new Mad God. Oh. But I'm not a day prince. <laughs> but perhaps you can hold the throne, provided that you possess the proper symbol of office, namely the staff of Sheogorath. Unfortunately, when Sheogorath faded, the power of the staff faded with him. It must now be remade. The staff is the symbol of power in this realm. He who rightfully holds the staff may hold the throne of the Shivering Isles. However, the secrets of its construction are lost. Lost? You said there was hope. That which is lost can be found again. There is one being in the Shivering Isles who may be able to assist you in the construction of a new staff. 
The ruins of Knife Point Hollow once served as a great library. There you will find a door. Behind that door, you will find the answer you seek. Although I hesitate to guide you towards this path, the secrets of the past will surely aid Jigalag, but I fear that we have no other choice. Be mindful of what you find there. The library is a thing of order, and it will still serve that end. Take this crystal. It contains the power to open the sealed door. Inside, you will find the final remnants of the library. Okay. Knife Point Hollow is near the core of the Shivering Isles. Follow the setting sun to the border of Mania. Climb the cliff there to the top. At the peak, you will find Knife Point Hollow. Okay. The obelisks operate by reflecting and focusing energies in order to create a portal to this realm. They can be overloaded and rendered inert by placing the crystalline hearts of the knights. Okay, I guess we knew this already. Will increase the yep. Power of the I guess if you didn't know this, this is how you'd figure it out. I guess so, hey. By summoning Haskell. Okay. While not the source of the Daedric Prince's authority, each Daedric artifact provides that prince with a measure of power. Lord Sheogorath chose you to sit on his throne. With the staff, you may be able to do just that. Okay. Anything else to say? No? Okay. I guess that's it. My work is never done. Okay. So I guess we have to go through that door. Yes, not the door that's marked, but the, the uh, other door. Not this one. Not this one, but the other door. Uh, not that way. Not this way. That way. This, this way. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why they want you to always go through that other extra sideways thing. I don't know either. That's weird. But anyway. Okay. Um, so we still have to leave town now. Yep. Right? And you got to go through Mania this time, so you need to go to the right. <laughs> I run down the stairs so fast that I hurt myself. Yep, some things never change. Yeah, okay. Okay, so we gotta go, by the looks of it, that's a wrong map. We gotta go here. Right? Right. And apparently more over that way. Yeah, I know. I'm just making sure I get high enough that uh, I'm not going to have difficulty getting to it afterwards. Yeah, I guess you could walk around along the ridge here. It looks like this giant ridge at the top would uh, still get you there. Okay, well, we'll go across here. Ugh. Because this looks kind of like a road. Kind of, sort of. Kind of, sort of, maybe not really. Is it the kind of road where you mash the jump button? Oh, wow, what's that? Looks like a big giant uh, tree plant thing. We're really close. It's a big giant tree plant thing? Yeah, th that's what that is. Oh, okay. It's a big giant tree plant thing. See? It's just as I said. <laughs> okay, so where's the cave? Is it inside the big giant tree plant thing? I don't know, maybe. Let's go see. That's kind of a theme in the Shivering Isles here, is to have dungeon cave things inside big giant tree plant things. 
Oh, look. There's an entrance inside the big giant tree plant thing. Yeah. Root door to knife point hollow. Okay, I guess we're in the right place. Okay. Well, maybe what we'll do... Oops. We'll not do that. Yeah, we'll do this. Because we can sneak a little bit more slowly than we can run normally, which makes uh, control a little easier. Oh, more of those guys now, huh? Hmm. Okay, so that looks like a dead end. That looks like it's probably a dead end too, right? Yep, just that guy chilling up there. Just that guy chilling up there. You know, so. he's good sword practice, I guess. Or a meal if you're hungry. Yeah. He's a mended flesh Antronach. That's a tough one. Is that the tough one? Yep. Well, we'll just top off here, and then uh, once we're filled up, we'll we'll whip out our sword and finish him off. Okay. Well, I imagine that I'll be meeting plenty more of those things anyway. Oops! Come on, draw the sword. There we go. far away. Listen here, you. <laughs> yeah, they just rain blows down on you. Look at yeah. that. He can cast spells and attack at the same time. He's multi-talented. Yeah. I guess that's what makes these guys kind of dangerous enemies, though, right? Yeah, well, that's okay. I can still tackle them. <laughs> Because even if, with a, as powerful as you are now, these guys can still hurt you. Yep. Yeah, I imagine that uh, for a lower level character, they'd be extremely deadly. Okay. Right ahead through there, by the looks of it. Doesn't really look like there's anywhere else to go. Ooh, okay. I guess this was the door. Yep. And who's, oh. and who's this? That's a guy. Okay. Somebody I, I'm supposed to talk to, maybe? By the looks of it. The Dios. I have been waiting for you, Your Grace. This day, as all days before and after, is well known to me. There are no surprises to Dias of Mytheria. Hmm. Shea Gorath has fallen, and you seek the means to foil the machinations of the Prince of Order. You seek the throne of madness. However, no mortal may sit upon the throne without the staff, so... Here you are in my prison, seeking to supplant the one who placed me here. If you wish to take the place of Shale Gorath, then ask me what you will. Well, that's very cooperative. <laughs> you were expecting a book, an ancient tome filled with the secrets that you seek. But instead you have found me, the last remnant. Individuality is an illusion. The details of my existence are no more important than the history of a stone. However, if you insist, I once served as the keeper of the great library of Jikalak. Oh yeah, okay. The great library was the height of logic and deduction. 
Contained within its walls was the logical prediction of every action ever taken by any creature, mortal or daedric. Every birth, every death, the rise of Tiber Septum, the Nemidium, everything, all predicted with the formula found within Jiglag's library. Wow. When Shale Gorath discovered the library, he had it burned, insisting that it was an abomination and that personal choice defied logical prediction. I am all that remains of the knowledge contained within the great library of Jiglag. Okay. How have you survived? Following each cycle of the Grey March, Shea Gorath has cast out or killed every aspect of order found in the Shivering Isles. I alone have survived. Shea Gorath cannot bring himself to destroy the knowledge that I possess. Instead, he's confined me to this place and forbidden me to die. I have not seen another creature until fate predictably sent you to me. Okay. As you wish. So, uh... What, now we got more to stuff to say about you? I don't think so, but yeah. Okay. Um, I've heard enough. Yeah, okay. As you wish. Yeah. Sometimes these things don't gray out like they're supposed to, right? Yep. Knife Point Hollow is my prison. As the great library, it once contained all the knowledge in creation. However, spare me your grief. My imprisonment is as meaningless as my immortality. Time and place are nothing. Constructs of a feeble mortal mind attempting to categorize and understand the world around it. If you were one of the fortunate few, you would one day understand and accept this. However, you are not and you will not. <laughs> okay. Huh. I can create the physical shell of the staff, but the divine essence must be gathered elsewhere. But apotheosis is no simple matter, and the creation of the staff is no simple task. I will require two sacred items in order to complete it. Okay. Hmm. Tell me about the first item. The Shivering Isles hold many secrets, but few remain unseen by mortal. The staff is a tool of great vision and thus requires the eye of one who has witnessed one of these unseen secrets firsthand. Sirta resides in the Howling Halls and find her and bring me the eye that is seen that which no other has. Okay. Tell me the about the second item. The branches of this round feed from a deep font of madness and mystery. One of the oldest trees, named the Tree of Shades, lies in the halls of Milkar. Milkar is a place of ruin, root, and mania. Go there and bring me a branch of this tree, but be warned. The tree will not surrender its secrets to one who has not earned them. Okay, so I must seek out yes. these two parts. Only then can I create an appropriate vessel to hold the power that is inherent in the Lord of this realm. The staff may allow you to occupy the throne of madness, but understand that such a feat has never been attempted. All sources indicate that you will fail. It is a certainty. However, I also predict that this will not stop you from trying. <laughs> okay. What's the Eye of Sirta? The staff of Sheogorath holds the secrets of this realm. As such, it requires a vessel that has witnessed dark secrets. Sirta has seen things with her eyes that no mortal has. Because of this, her eye will serve well to contain that which the staff must hold. So I guess okay. you gotta kill somebody. Yeah, and take their eye? Yep. The roots of the Tree of Shades run into the heart of the Shivering Isles. It is said that the tree feeds from waters of the Grove of Reflection. The Grove can show men who they truly are. Only after facing the truth will the Tree of Shades give up its branches to you. Oh, okay. Hmm. I can create the physical shell of the staff, but the staff of Shale Gore. Okay. Should you succeed, you will be the first mortal to have a dedicated Daedric artifact in your possession. 
This will be most interesting indeed. Okay. Well, I guess we've got two errands to run now, right? Yep. It would seem. So this has been a relatively simple thing so far. But now we need to see what time it is. It is 6.10 a.m. So we're going to have to wait for a while. Otherwise you'll get uh, cooked like a good steak. That's right. We have to avoid the uh, harmful rays of the sun. So we will wait. <sighs> okay, here we go. Uh, yeah, okay. Now, where do we have to go? Over oh. there! Okay. I wonder if you got two separate quests from this, or just one quest marker? No, see, Oh, no, you just got two quest go markers, to, okay. Yeah, we gotta go there and there. So I guess we'll go there first. To Milkar. So I guess that's more or less, uh... What is that? Northwest? Yeah. Yep. Crunch. Oh, somebody's trying to kill you. Oh, again? Oh. Well. Oh. Even the things you're trying to save are trying to kick your ass. Yeah, I know. Well, things are just generally very unfriendly in this place anyway, right? Oh. Okay. Yeah, they can apparently block. Well, I see your crosshair has reversed to the other side again. Has it reversed to the other side? Oh, well. I wonder if that has something to do with the vampire feeding thing, actually. Maybe. It could be something to that effect. But anyway, I guess we'll uh, be on our way now. <laughs> okay. Uh... Uh, oh, no. oh, look, now something else is here wanting to kick my ass, too. Yeah, that's a Balawog. Okay, so much for you. I can't tell who you're feeding on or what you're feeding on. I think you're eating the Balawog. No, you're eating the Gnarl. Yeah. But that's okay, we needed to, f to fill up anyway. Yeah, you'll be buzzed after this. These things have a shitload of blood, even at half dead. Yeah, that's the furnace running again. Furnace runs a lot when it's this cold outside. Ah, uh, it's okay, you know. Yeah. I'd rather have this weather than the weather we were having before. I don't know, I think I prefer the weather we were having before. Ah, go global warming. No way, <laughs> I, I, I like my cold weather. Uh, yeah, they think it's cold in Iowa, it's about 20 degrees colder here. Yep. <laughs> Yeah, it's taken quite a while to finish this guy off. Maybe we'll, uh, we'll just 
finish him off that way now. Because I think I'm, uh... As all, buzzed out as you can be. Yeah, I'm all filled up now anyway. Okay. So we still need to get around this. We found Puddle Jump Camp, whatever that might be. Are we heading towards the Saint the right point still? I don't know. Let's see here. We're still going northwest. Ish. Oh. Probably the right way. Yeah. It's easy to get turned around. Yeah, well, like that compass says northwest, so and it looks like whatever this is, it's taking us in about the right direction, so. Ah. There. Yeah, those things are deadly, but they actually don't have that much health. No. No, once I knocked it down there, I was able to pretty much, uh... Oh. Oh, hey, look, it's one of these guys. Oh. Ugh. Well, that's okay. At least you don't slide down inclines like you do in some games. enough of that from you. Looks like you've managed to zoom your camera out. Yep. There. Okay, we appear to have reached the uh, little village that is... Oh, no, you're not even halfway there. Oh, I'm not even halfway there. Wow. You gotta keep going. I found Split. What? What? Oh, look at that. Wow. The way forward just made itself immediately apparent. Ha! Huh. I need to zoom the camera in a little more again here. Good. Okay, this looks like the place, eh? Yeah, all you gotta do is find an entrance. Yeah. There's this broken hole in the wall here. Do you think that's an entrance? Sure, what the hell? Why not? And we just have to find a door. There's a chest back behind you. Oh. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that sword of yours does a fair bit of damage, because these things are ridiculously tough, and you're actually able to hurt that thing fairly significantly. There. That takes care of that. Wow, do they have a lot of blood on them when dead. Yep. Oh, you're buzzed out again. Yep. Okay, door to this place. We're still trying to find some kind of a doorway in. It looks like it's right about there. Did I pass it? Well, yeah, it's it might one of these, be inside that tree. It's one of these... Okay, I found it. It's one of these silly things where... Yeah, they really like that inside the tree thing. Yeah. That seems to be a theme, hey? Okay, well, before we go inside, maybe we'll do a little bit of repairing because uh, we've not done that in a while. Well that, and F5 is your friend. That's right. Well, your armor is just toast. Yeah. 
Yeah, and you would think that light armor would get to be at least a little bit less breakable over time, but it doesn't seem to matter how high your skill gets. Yeah, well, that's why you've got to enchant the crap out of it, because uh, otherwise you'd end up with uh, no armor all the time, right? Yep. You'd basically have to repair your armor after every battle. Or just not wear armor. Yeah, well, then you'd still need enchantments, right? Okay, well, let's uh, switch weapons here. Because uh, I don't see any point in sneaking up behind this thing and hitting it for one times damage. All the one times damage, all the time. There you go, maybe I'll make a patch for this game that uh, turns all two-handed weapons into, uh... Hey, look at that, I backed away and he lost track of me. Oh. Well, you, you are fairly sneaky. Yeah, like, I don't know, like, if I ram a claymore into somebody's back, I'm pretty sure that'll hurt just as much as if I ram a dagger into their back. Yeah, well, I think, though, even in Skyrim, they have that idea where yeah. uh, one-handed weapons get a bigger damage multiplier. Although, I think they do have a, uh, a perk available where uh, you can get a smaller multiplier with some, you know, sneak attacks with two-handed weapons. Or, I don't, or maybe that's a modded thing. I don't remember now. I can't remember. I basically never take anything but the first sneak perk anyways. Yeah. I I actually try and uh favor the uh the side that allows me to uh get the equivalent of light foot, you know? Where you don't set off floor traps and things like that. Ah, uh, yep. Yo, know, you have a deadly traps mod for Skyrim. Yeah. Yeah, if you if you uh set off most traps it, in my game in Skyrim, they, they're enough to kill you. Kill most characters outright. Oh, you swung under him. Yeah, I missed. Okay, well... Okay, where are we supposed to go here? It would be hard for me to say. I don't think you got a proper quest marker here because I think uh, that just leads outside. I don't know. Let's have a look at the map here. Whoops. The map. Yeah. Okay. Oh, no, it does lead inside, maybe. Is that inside? Uh, Grove, Grove of, of Reflection. reflection. And then the, this would be that was outside, that's yep. where I came from. So yeah, this door here, which is probably uh, down below me somewhere, I would think. Well, or... there's this big, big ass tree in the middle. Yeah, there's also a ramp there. I don't really see a doorway in the middle of this big tree. Oh, wait a minute, right there. Right? Yeah. I've arrived in the glow Grove of Reflection. According to Dias, I must locate the Tree of Shades and find a way to reveal my true self before I can... Okay. Well. Do I have to drop down through that hole? Possibly, but there is a little pathway... Uh across from there. Does it end in a dead end as well? Yes. Yeah, yes, it so does. It looks like I have to drop down through that hole, hey? Okay. We'll drop down through the hole. That was a very slow drop. Yes, it certainly was. <laughs> I think it has something to do with you sneaking while in midair. Think so? I don't know. Okay, guess we've got to go this way. Ooh, okay. 
So uh, this thing here is what we're after. Mm. But what did the quest log say? The quest log says, I've arrived in the Grove of Reflection. I must locate the Tree of Shades and find a way to reveal my true self before I will be allowed to take one of its branches. And, uh, so here, looking at the map, it kind of looks like this wonderful square room <coughs> is uh, where I'm supposed to go, right? Because it doesn't look like there's anywhere else to go in here. So I guess we'll... Uh, standing Stone. Okay, what am I supposed to do with the standing stone? That's a tree of shades. Oh, you're being attacked. Am I being attacked? Oh. By somebody ruling in slow motion. Oh. Who is it? It's oh, me. Oh, it's you. It's me. Wow. Everything's moving in slow motion. Yes, it would appear that I am moving in slow motion too. Oh. Yeah, I guess if you just kill you. Hmm. Wow, I'm really moving slowly. <laughs> it's like moon gravity. Wow, yeah, it is. It's like <laughs> totally, totally weightless here, hey? Yeah, look at your blood pool drop while you're in here, too. Yeah, I know. It's crazy. Wow. Hey, can I eat myself? I wonder. Oh, yeah. Maybe. that could be seriously bad. Yeah, I guess you'll have to get out of here and find a snack. After I approached the Grove of Reflection, a shadowy image of myself appeared from the waters of the Grove and attacked me. I defeated it, and now the... Okay. Can I loot me? Nope. Oh, apparently not. Now what am I doing? I would assume... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We just had a crash. Damn it. Well, we'll be right back, folks. And we're back. And we actually had to do a bit of a workaround here because uh, there's a bug where uh, when Sandman99's clone spawns in and he kills it, uh, the clone also inherits his vampirism, but his speed stat gets tied to that and it ends up getting debuffed by like negative 2 million. And so he actually suffers a permanent damage speed of like negative 2 million and we just can't fix that. So, and it also makes him so he can't move and the game crashes. So we fixed that by just adding the branch to our inventory and now we can continue. <laughs> we had to come all the way back here from a previous save. So sorry about that, guys. Yeah. Oh, well, anyway, just something that was not anticipated. Yeah, just a small conflict with the uh, vampirism mod, I guess. So if you're running the vampirism mod, just keep in mind that you might have to yep. add the branch to your inventory. And yeah, what we did is we just uh, went back outside and then used the console command to add the branch. 
Yeah, uh, if you bring up the console, they can even see the console command. I think oh, okay. it's... Oh, uh, okay, yeah, you bet. It's right, uh, player, th right there. Yeah, that one. Player.addItem 1363E space 1. And I guess that also is a bug fix for if your clone never appears. So, because we never entered the dungeon with this particular save, because we've already run through the dungeon, because we figured that was what was causing the problem, and it seems to have been, uh... You know, you just add the branch to your inventory and it progresses the quest anyways. Yeah, so we're going to have to go and uh, hang out in here for a bit until the harmful rays of the sun dissipate. Yes. But by the sounds of it, something is harassing us from outside still, so I can't wait. Yet. Yeah. Ah, well. Hmm. Well, we can always burn some time in here. I'd really rather just wait. Jeez. Hey, yeah, we can use... Is there a console command to set the time on the clock? There might be. I know there is for Skyrim. We could just set the time on the clock for uh, 8 p.m. And, uh, and then we don't have to wait. <laughs> All right, well, we'll pause while I look that up. Yeah. Okay, so it appears that there is no, uh, there, okay. So yeah, we, will... we couldn't find the council command to advance time, so just so kill we'll... the thing that's trying yeah, to kill we'll you. We'll just have to kill the things and, uh, then wait. And then we'll be able to wait. It's been a wild ride to get this quest done. Yeah. Ah, oh, what a nuisance. Boy. Die already! Okay. Oh, there's still combat music. There's still something out there. After me. Maybe just try putting some distance between you and it. Yeah, but... Where do I go? And how far do I have to go? And how badly sunburned will I get? Okay, it stopped. I think the music stopped, right? Nope. Oh, there's the thing right there. There's a couple of them. There's like a whole herd of them out here. I wonder if this is a, like a pointless exercise, that I will never be able to kill all of these things, because I won't be able to find them all. Oh, no. Did it stop? Where's yep. the cave? Right over there. Okay, what a pain. We're good to go. Yes, there are definitely some shortcomings to this game. Okay, well, I guess now we can wait, whoops, 12 hours. Till the harmful rays of the sun disappear again. <sighs> Boy. Problem solved. And now we can get back on track finally. Yeah. Oh, something's trying to kick your ass again. Yeah, but that's okay, because I need to eat <laughs> I need to I need to eat whatever it is now anyway. Where is it? I don't know. That's also an enormous pain in the ass too. Not being able to find them. I kind of like the concept of having some kind of uh, radar radar that uh, shows where your enemies are so that you can hunt them down and kill them when it's inconvenient to have them, you know, hovering somewhere way off of the uh, map area, you know? Yep, yep. Where you can't see them and can't find them. Oh, 
well. Anyway, this will be... Is there a victim over here, or is that one that's already dead? Nope, that's a victim. Yeah. Food time. Oh, this will get you topped off a little bit. Yeah, so long as I can hold this thing down long enough to drink a substantial amount of bug blood. I think I heard something else. Oh, I think it was just this thing squeaking. Ah, uh, maybe. Because they make noises, right? I guess I drained it dry. Well, at least you're not uh, starving to death anymore. Yeah. Yeah, well, you can get into serious trouble if your blood bar gets down toward the bottom. Like, it, then it causes damage to attributes. And, oh, look, meal. Uh, yeah. And <laughs> th things like that, right? Yeah. And uh, it can actually uh, end up being fatal if you uh, become completely blood-starved, right? Yeah, well, that's one of the things we thought was going on with the clone, too, because it seemed like the clone might have spawned in blood-starved, and that's what caused your blood pool to drain very quickly, and their stats were damaged, and, like, it was like this weird buggy situation where you inherited their damaged stats, and it was weird. Yeah. Yeah, it was pretty crazy, so... Anyway, I guess, uh... You don't want to play the Shivering Isles with the vampire with, mod. With the vampire mod. Or at least uh, don't be a vampire when you do it. Yeah. Yeah, if I was just a normal mortal, I guess probably everything would have been fine, right? Probably, yeah. But, uh... but I didn't anticipate the mirror match thing either right although that is one of the tropes that this type of game does do from time to time right yes but still i didn't i did not see that coming yeah it's just an implementation problem i mean i'm sure it's something that could be fixed if the mod author's still floating around oh yeah i kind of doubt it though not after this long but yeah it's just it's just a minor oversight type of thing well, at least we could get the branch with using the console command, and it looks like it advanced the quest for us and everything, so... Yep. And we did get to demonstrate what you gotta do down there. Yep, kill your clone and get the branch. Yep, kill your clone and get the branch. So we did everything, we just, uh... kind of had a hard time getting there, that's all. Yep. And it's taking a really long time to drain this guy. Wow. <clears throat> Has the camera just started spinning around and around? Yes, the camera just started spinning around and around. That's how long it's taken to drain this guy. So maybe we'll stop, because I think the blood pool will... Uh, continue catching up? Continue catching up. There, see? I think I'm already full. And you've been full for a while. Yeah. It's just one of those uh, crazy things, right? Yeah, just a script lag thing. Yeah. But that's what happens sometimes with mods, right? They're not perfect. Wow, I got some air there.
Uh, and I have no idea where the road is right now or ah, anything nobody like needs that. The roads. How close are we to this place anyway? Are we getting there? Yeah, you're about three quarters of the way there. Nature is your road. Think of it that way. Yeah. Nature is my road. There's a graveyard. There's a road. I just crossed it. Yeah, but you could jump on water. Yeah, I know. But I'm don't, not very good at it. <laughs> I keep missing all the time, eh? Is this where we're supposed to go? Not quite. Okay, the Howling Halls, which is uh, fairly close to this place. Yeah, it's like right next door. Yeah, there's lots of little villages and stuff around here, right? Yeah, it would definitely be uh, worth uh, uh, exploring this place sometime. I mean, there's a lot of side quests and stuff that we haven't done in this playthrough that are pretty interesting. Okay, well, I think we found our way to the Howling Halls. Look, there's a chair on top of the roof. Along with a chest. Filled with a whole bunch of gold and some precious gems, or precious yeah. stones, I guess. Is a pearl a gem or a stone, or wh what is a pearl? I really don't know. <laughs> okay, here we go. This must be where we go in, right? F5 is your friend. Yeah. Especially Actually, after recent... You know what? Maybe even a hard save is my friend <laughs> after, after that. Yeah. yeah, that was quite the experience. Okay, we're gonna go in here. Okay, so we'll uh, go back to sneaking just in case I have to actually sneak up on something. Well, and it's easier to control. That too. What's that? That's a statue of a hunger. Wow, it's a really big statue. Okay, which way do I go? Go this way? Maybe it doesn't matter which way I go, because either way go ends up in the same place. <clears throat> Who is this? This must be, uh... Apostle. Apostle! Okay, well I'm really sneaky, so I'm just gonna sneak right on by the Apostle. Robes. Hey, what's oh. that on the uh, the shamble skull over there? What? Where? Behind you. It's a shamble skull. Huh. Hmm. I wonder if that would be a Museum of Oddities thing. You think? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'll grab it. It's there. on a pedestal. It must be important. Yeah, I guess. Eh? It's probably something totally fucking worthless. We just picked up this random three-pound shamble skull. Yeah. Oh, well. That's okay. Everybody's walking around with their light spells on. Yeah. Hey, what's on this throne thing here? Looks like some food. No, that's some precious gems. What? Ah, crap. Press the wrong button. Now they know I'm here. Yeah. They had to stop and pause for a second, and then they knew where you were again. Yeah. Oh, well. That didn't take long. Yeah, they're not much of a match for you. Especially without armor on. Well, I didn't even hit them, I just killed them with a spell. <laughs> okay. Wow, that's like a whole bunch of uh, gemstones and things. We'll just take the basket in the interest of speeding things up here. Yeah, I, I guess the basket is an inevitable thing, huh? Yeah, because we can always drop the basket. If I can remember how to drop things, it's been a while since I've had to do that. It's been a while since any inventory management was done at all. Yeah. Basket. Where is the basket? It'll be in this menu, in this tab. Probably towards the bottom, in this section. 
Yeah, okay, well. Go to the Museum of Oddities, There's give the, the lady a basket. Okay, how do we drop things any anyway, do you remember? Uh, I don't know, uh, X plus right trigger? I don't remember. I think it's something like you gotta hold down X and then press the right trigger. Oh, nope, right, that's not it. Not right bumper, right trigger. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay, there we go. Yeah. Did we drop it? I'm pretty sure you dropped the basket. I don't know where it ended up. Or did we eat it? I don't think you can eat baskets. Okay, well, it, uh, it appears to be out of our inventory. I'm just anyway. gonna blame that one on Oblivion. It's been an Oblivion day. Yeah. That it has. Okay, well. Congregation Chambers. Oh, there's another one of these guys. He's got a name. Yeah, and he, like, detected you for, like, an instant. Yeah, maybe I should talk to him. Whoops. Talk to him, not sword him. You, you do not belong here. Quickly, put on a robe before the others see you. They will kill you on sight. Please, I mean you no violence. Perhaps you can help me. Okay, I'm listening. Good, good. Your face is known to me. One so famous as you cannot expect to walk around the aisles unrecognized, can you? Huh? You are the Duchess, yes? And Sheogoroth has sent you to find Sirta, has he not? Yeah, I he guess so. He seeks to kill her. Um, yeah, okay. Do we lie? I mean, I don't know. Does it really matter? Yeah, okay. Still, for whatever reason you are here, you mean Sirta ill, yes? Don't bother refuting me. I know the truth. <laughs> yes, I do. But there are those of us here who want her gone as well, yes. <laughs> those of us who think that maybe we could lead better than she does. So, if you will help me, I will help you. Sirta will die, and you will not need to lift a finger. Then you can take whatever you need and go. Well, that sounds like a good deal. All right, what do you want me to do? I require weapons for myself and for the apostles that will help me do the deed. But Sirta already is suspicious of me. She has forbidden me and those who support me from carrying weapons. And suspicious would it look if we were to wander around gathering them. You want me to bring you weapons? Uh, very clever, your grace. Bring to me three apostle daggers. Sirta must be slain with the weapons of the light if I am to take her place. No other weapons. But you must be discreet. Do not remove the robes or you will be attacked. Even I will have to kill you, so I do not draw more suspicion to me. I guess I have to wear a disguise. Be yep. cautious of killing my allies. I cannot forgive that crime. You will know them, as they are also forbidden to carry daggers. <laughs> will you help me bring the apostles to the light and help yourself? Sure. Good, <laughs> good. Bring to me the daggers. Then kill Sirta, we will. Okay. You don't have the daggers yet? A lot of history has this place. It was I who led the apostles to steal the stones from Cyrodiil when the original temple was destroyed. We rebuilt it here. As it was when it hosted its most famous guest. Sometimes at night, <laughs> I can still hear Emperor Pelagius screaming. Uh, oh. Okay. Sirta promised to bring us to the light. It is a way. A promise of a better future. Free from the shackles of Sheogorath. 
Delight is knowledge, she says. Forsake all ignorance and morality in favor of delight, she teaches. But what does she do? She sits in her chamber and dreams of revenge against Shagorath. She is a liar and has stolen our lives. Soon we will seek delight without her. Okay. Sure. Okay, well. Where am I going to get a robe? Well, you can go back through the other room and take Did a he? robe off a dead guy. Did he give me a robe? He gave me a robe. Okay. As for the daggers, I mean, are they the same daggers those dead guys attacked you with? I don't know. But anyway, um, first of all, we'll pause for a moment while I change into the robes, just in case something untoward happens. All right. Okay, that went relatively uh, smoothly and painlessly. Okay, so, uh, where did we come in? We came in here? Nope, other oh, way. We came in... That door. Through that door. And we want to, uh... Check those dead guys for daggers. Check those dead guys for daggers, right? I somehow don't think that those dead guys as daggers will be what we're looking for, though. Probably not. But you never know. Is this just more junk? Let's see here. Apostle Apo dagger. Oh, okay, sure. We got one of them p apostle daggers. Hmm. You know, there was another guy at the entrance here you might be able to kill. And Who you snuck past before. Another apostle dagger. Yeah, that does, guy. Does he have a dagger? Yes, he does. Okay, I'm gonna eat him. <laughs> okay. Hey, buddy, we just need your dagger. It's fine. Yep. Yeah, that's all I want. I just want your dagger. Okay. I've collected three <laughs> daggers. All right. There we go. Now that's thinking. Yeah. So he should be cool with me killing people that have daggers, right? Yep. Yeah. Hopefully. Have you <coughs> me the daggers? Yep, I sure have. Here you go. You have them, do you? Give them to me. I thirst for Sinta's blood. Here you go. Tonight, the light will shine for us all. Tonight, Sirta's time comes to an end. Okay. Wow, that guy can really move. The flesh is weak. Flesh is weak. The light is all. Take these daggers. Slay her. And at last, we can be on our path to true enlightenment. Here you are, my brothers. At last, we will be rid of Sirta. Come, now is the time. Okay, guess we're going through here. Oh, got somebody in white robes you, here. You come to me with blades drawn? What is the meaning of this? I come to relieve you of your torment, dear Sirta. No more lost memories. No more pain. No more misleading us. To the void we will send you. And without you, we will gain the light. You fool. I am the light. Come if you dare. I will cast you into darkness for all eternity. Oh. Okay. Oh, I guess <laughs> I guess I'm fighting too, huh? I guess so. Uh. 
So what's this guy's deal? Oh, he's got one of those apostle dagger things too, huh? Yep. I love this when they run back and forth and they're like way the hell across the room, but they're still running back and forth. Yeah. Okay, well, I am I guess uh Oh. Okay, Rack Aaron's betrayal of Sirta has been successful. Now that she is dead, taking her eye should be a simple matter. How could you do such a thing? Okay. She had a staff of lightning. She had some, some robes. fancy robes. Um, eye, yeah. Eye. Just, you're just like over there with a spoon, cop, carving out the eye. Yep. Should we take Sirtis' key too? Sure. Sure, we'll take Sirtis' key too. Yeah. I have both items that Dias needs to recreate the staff of Sheogorath. I should return to him immediately. Okay. So I guess, uh... Oh, that's probably what uh, the, the key was for, right? Yep. Yeah, okay. Look at her collecting all the money. Yeah, really, I could just take all of this stuff. Uh, all right. Well, you know what? We'll pause for a moment while I change back into my armor again, too. Oh, what? Well, I thought these guys would attack you as soon as you took the robes off, but apparently not. Well, since uh, their boss is dead now, I guess it really doesn't matter, right? No one yeah, cares. Yeah, apparently. Nobody, nobody cares. Nobody cares anymore. Everybody instantly got that memo, right? Yep. Now I just have to figure out how to get out of here. Looks like if you jump out off that uh, rail there. Oh, I can't jump over it if I'm too close to it, though. There. Well, that was easy. Boy, I hope they don't notice the couple of dead guys in the entryway. Ah, uh, well, <laughs> by, by the time they notice them, I'll be long gone. What time is it anyway? Oh, crap. It's almost morning again. Well, I guess you'll have to wait. Yep, we'll wait. Uh, there, we'll wait for that many hours. Just to give us enough time to get back to where we need to go. Okay. Acrobatics training while you're waiting for those last few minutes. Yep. Two minutes to go. There, there you go. we go. Okay. So we have to go this way now, right? Yep. Wow, this is like way over on top of a hill kind of, isn't it? Yo, I think you're going back to Dias, or whatever his name is. Yeah, if I can remember uh, where that place is now. Dias, Dias, whatever the hell. Yeah, whatever his name is, yeah. Well, okay. Oops. There's lunch! Wow, there's like a whole whack of things over here now. Yeah, sadly you can't eat skinned hounds, I don't think. Nope. Mmm, frog legs. Yeah. Hey, blood is blood, right? Even if it comes from a bug. Or a frog. Or a frog. Didn't get much out of that one. I guess I must have mostly destroyed the body or something. 
Ah, well. Oh. Got hung up on the bridge posts there. Yep, they sure do. Yeah, <laughs> you could hear the drawing of the sword from here. Yep, I'll let you guys handle that one. I've got other things to do. Hey look, a whole bunch more hey, dead wow. order guys and then a living order guy. Yeah. Somebody must have come along here and cleared out some order guys already. Yo, I guess you could always jam a whole bunch of hearts into that thing while you're here. If you felt the need to. If I felt the need to. Sure. And I think you gotta wait for it to glow and do its thing. Yeah, and then I have to put another one in. Oh, and then I have to... There. And then you gotta kill that priest. Again. Probably. If he's alive again. Might not be. I guess it's just order guys. Yep, just order guys. Can I take your order, guys? <laughs> would you like fries with that, guys? There you go. Yeah, would you like fries with that blood? Hey man, fries are good with everything. Yeah. I couldn't believe it, man. I was talking to somebody the other day and they didn't like steak with fries. Really? Yeah! Who doesn't what's... like steak with fries? Yeah, what's wrong with steak and fries? Yeah. I couldn't believe it. That's like a classic. Am I going the wrong way? I'm going the wrong way, aren't I? Nope, you're going the right way. Ish. Ish. An approximation of the direction that you need to be going. So much traveling. Practice my water jumping a little bit. There you go. Okay. It's another one of these guys. Although it's not one of the tough ones. There. Okay. Oh, okay. How far away from this place are we here? We're pretty close. It's actually right over there, isn't it? Yeah, I think it is. It's like right in the tree thing. You know, the, the tree thing? Yeah. You'll know when you see it. Or maybe it's not in the tree thing. Maybe I'm full of shit. I think you gotta go up. Yeah, looks like I gotta go up. Well, it did say climb the cliff, didn't it? Yep. hard to climb this cliff. It wow. gets shallower as you go this way, though. There you go. Oh, okay. And another one of these guys now. Oh, I wonder if he followed you uh, out when we speed ran this the second time around. I bet you that's why he's out here. Yeah, probably. Guess I killed him. Guess that's it for you. Well, he'll serve a little bit of a snack and then you're good to go. Yeah, as soon as I find my way in here. Yeah, here we go. Damn trees. Yeah, well, who, who decided to put caves in trees anyway? I mean, probably Shea Gorath, man. 
<laughs> well, things are gonna change when I'm in charge. Ah! <clears throat> Okay, here we go. You have the items. Contrary to all prediction. Once again, you defy the path well, set before Well, we were definitely up against However, it this time around, yeah. too. <laughs> Game bugs and everything. If you wish to confront what is to come, I shall create the staff for you. Okay. Uh, yeah, give her. You possess the eye and the branch. Together, they shall form the physical shape of the staff. Is there going to be like three more errands to run after this? After Probably. Man. The staff, you must take it to the seat of power in the Shivering Isles, the palace of Sheol Goreth. There, imbue the staff with power from the font of madness. Soak the staff in the waters of the land, and it will open its full power to you. You have defied the expected and accomplished something that denies all logic I must contemplate the error in my calculations now take your treasure and leave me uh. okay do I have it now yep okay so it's in my inventory I'm good to go you've got your incomplete staff yeah and my shambles skull Yes, and your shambles skull. Yeah. With the staff of Sheogorath now in my possession, I should make my way to the Tree of Madness in Sheogorath's throne room. There I can tap into the tree's power and begin my transformation. Okay, we won't fall down in that hole down there. There's probably a way back out of there again, but it's probably extremely roundabout and... Uh... Yeah, probably. And you probably have to kill a whole bunch of more of those golem thingies and... You know, stuff like that. Okay. So, I guess now... We're heading back to town, huh? Yep. All the peaceful music. Yeah. Peaceful, happy music. Isn't it relaxing after what you went through today? Yeah. <laughs> well, you know what? I mean, I know we're kind of rushing headlong toward this, but and it would be lovely to explore side quests and that kind of thing, but this character is ridiculously powerful. And, uh, you know, like, it just feels like... Um... There isn't any challenges left, right? Yep. Well, maybe another character another time. Yep. Boy, that knockdown thing is actually pretty good, eh? Yep. You just knock that thing down and then you beat the poop out of it before it get back up. Oh, well, and it's <laughs> a lot more consistent than the paralyzed thing, too. Yeah. I've never successfully done the paralyzed thing, I don't think. And that's a much easier attack to execute, but uh, it <coughs> it just doesn't seem to work very often. Well, one of the things I used to try to do is I would like knock my opponent down, and like the first attack I would hit them with is the attempt to paralyze with the forward power attack. Oh. And if it didn't work, then I would just beat on them while they're knocked down. And if it did work, then I would just beat on them while they're knocked down. But then they're also paralyzed, so it'll take them extra long to get up. Oh. <laughs> Me, I just beat on them while they're knocked down. Which is more than sufficient. Yeah, it does the job. Okay. Uh, yeah, we gotta go up the stairs and through the door. Oh, must be changing of the guard here or something, eh? Yep. Okay. So, here we go. We've got to do what we're supposed to do here. Font of Madness. Something is wrong with the Font of Madness. It won't accept the Staff of Sheogarath and imbue it with the power. Perhaps Haskell will know what's wrong with it. Yeah, there's got to be at least 
a couple more errands to run here yet. Ah, you're back. You may have noticed that we have a, a bit of a problem. You Just think? a bit. Order. The taint appeared only a short time ago, but it has spread quickly. I fear that soon we will all be serving a new master. Yes, his agents must have found a way to poison the font with order. Once the source of madness becomes the font of order, Chigalag is won. This is true. Very little surprises me, but your successes against the advance of order have left me astonished. Speechless. Indeed, it is your very success that must have led Jigalag to this unexpected avenue of attack. His usual approach is much less imaginative. Okay. Somehow, the forces of order have poisoned the pools of mania and dementia that feed the tree. I suspect the traitor Sill. Jigalag has never had an original thought in his existence. Uh. Be that as it may. You will have to enter the fountainhead beneath the tree and find the source of the poison. Okay. Uh. The font flows with the sap of the Tree of Madness, which it draws up from deep beneath the palace. The fountainhead leads down to the pools of dementia and mania, where the insanity of the realm's inhabitants <sighs> settles. Jigalag's minions must have introduced order into the very wellspring of madness. You must cleanse the pools, or order has won the war. Okay, how do we do that? Sheogorath's private sanctuary, where he would often meditate amidst the tame gnarls that tend the roots. Normally, the fountainhead is a peaceful sanctuary, but there's no telling what changes the taint of order may have wrought. Sounds like you're going to be killing now everything. I fear that the gnarls themselves <laughs> may be accelerating the spread of order throughout the tree's roots. Be careful. Okay, well, I don't know. I think we're probably just about out of time for this episode. Indeed. So I guess we'll have to pick this up next episode with yet another errand. Alrighty. Until then, I'm Wreck Me 5. And I am Sandman99. Have a good one.